we are going to study this unit. We are going to study chiller unit. Uh, this is a chiller unit. What is the difference between this chiller unit and this self-contained unit? Oh, look at this. This is the condenser and this is the evaporator. This is the condenser and this is the evaporator. No, I have Freon, Freon here. I have Freon here. It's still inside the pipe. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, this is raw water and the raw water here enter here and goes out here. I have raw water. Follow me. Pay attention. This element, this element looks like a, a split unit with the condenser over there and the evaporator here. Like that, like this one. A split unit. Okay. Look. This is the split unit. Okay. Condenser. Condenser in the in the engine room and evaporator in the cabin. Oh, the, this is a self-contained unit with the condenser here and the evaporator here together. Yes or not? Yes. Pay attention. This is a self-contained unit. You have the condenser here, compressor and coil, and you have the evaporator here. The difference is this. The coil, the coil of the evaporator, look at the coil of the evaporator in this. Oh, it's internal. The coil of the evaporator is cooled, in this case, the coil of the evaporator is cooled by? Refrigerant. The coil of the evaporator air. with the refrigerant internally is cooled by? Air. 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 Okay, pay attention. The coil of the evaporator here, the coil of the evaporator here is cooled by? Water. In this rectangle, in this box, you have fresh water or coolant, engine coolant, with glycol and water. One second. Because this is a little difficult to understand. We are going to refresh the split unit. The, the, sink, the cycle starts in the compressor. The compressor receives the signal from the thermostat. And the, the, the compressor starts to compress the refrigerant. In the output, in the discharge of the compressor, you have refrigerant at high pressure, high pressure, high pressure, high temperature. Yes or not? Yes. The refrigerant pass for the dryer filter. And after that for, what is this? The capillary pipe. The capillary pipe. What happened here with the refrigerant after the, the capillary pipe? Reduces temperature, reduces it's pressure. It's low pressure and low temperature and enter in the bottom of the evaporator and start the process of evaporation of the refrigerant. Mm -hmm. And the refrigerant goes out here fully evaporated and return in the discharge part of the compressor and the cycle continues. This is the refrigeration cycle. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Pay attention. When the, when the refrigerant enters in the bottom here, how is the pipes? Cold. It's frozen. And the pipes here are practically frozen. When this blower, when this motor starts, suction the ambient air, and I receive here? Cold, cold, air. cold air because the pipes are frozen. frozen. What happens if I pass around those frozen pipes, no air? I surrounded those frozen pipes, no with air, like this. What happens if I surrounded those frozen pipes with a fresh, air, fresh water or coolant? That water become? Chilled water. No? Mm -hmm. And that chilled water, I move the chilled water with this fresh water pump, electrical pump, into that coil. In that coil, internally in the pipes, is circulating coolant, fresh water, or refrigerant? Fresh water or fresh coolant? Water. Cold water. Cold water, chilled water. And the chilled water return here, enter again in the box, and the frozen pipes chill the water again, and the water goes over there, and this flower, a star suction the ambient air, the ambient air pass around the chilled pipes, and I receive here, what? Cold air. Cold air. 
What is the name of that unit? Air handle. Air handle. Air handle. And what is the name of this complete unit? Chiller, Chiller. Chiller unit. Chiller system. Everybody follow me? Yes. yes. Okay. Some people say in a chiller unit, pay attention. In a chiller unit is wonderful because I only use water, fresh water. I don't use refrigerant. Is that true? No. You use refrigerant? Yes. yes you Where? In, in the, the compressor. compressor. In the compressor. Here, in between both of them. Mm -hmm. This is the compressor, compress, pass for the coil and return. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Ah, no, I have a self-contained unit. The yes. only difference is in the evaporator, the evaporator is surrounded not for air, it's surrounded for fresh water. And that fresh water becomes chilled. And I circulate that chilled water over there and return here. You like it? Yeah. Ah, excuse me. Yes, I have refrigerant in the central chilled unit located in this building. Mm -hmm. In the other offices, I have air handles. The communication between this central unit and the air handles is with pipes and fresh water. I don't have refrigerant traveling longer distance. I have fresh water traveling long distance. Everybody follow me? Yes. Pay attention. I have the central chiller unit here in this building. And uh, the lady of this building, the lady of the accounting department is complaining, is complaining about a leak of uh, some liquid, the color is green. She thinks that is refrigerant in the office. And she said that the air is warm. The technician, of the facilities of the university goes over there and call to the manager and say yes. In the office of uh, Mrs. Adriana, there are a lot of refrigerant on the ground. This is refrigerant? No. No, it's not refrigerant. It's coolant. Because the people, instead of use fresh water, the people prefer coolant. Engine coolant, motor coolant. Why coolant instead of fresh water? The freezing point is lower, and additionally, the additives in the coolant avoid corrosion, corrosion in the pipes of uh, of uh, the evaporator. For that reason, it's better the coolant. Ah, the coolant is green color, similar to the color of the refrigerant, but this is coolant. It's not refrigerant. It's not freon. That, that's clear? All right? Normally, normally, when you have a leak of refrigerant in this unit, way. for example, you have a leak here, you have a crack here, and the refrigerant is going out, immediately the refrigerant goes out to the environment, is evaporated. That's what I'm saying, you wouldn't see it. You don't have a pound of a okay, crack, that's, that's, that You have a question. little green color here around the crack, indicating that in that point, that immediately is, goes out, is evaporated. Okay. That's not possible. Over there, you have a pound of water, green water. This is not refrigerant because she, she, she is, I agree with you, never is liquid at ambient temperature. It will be evaporated. That's number one. But uh, too much technicians think that this is refrigerant. No, no, me. They, oh, no, Papa, this, this is coolant, engine coolant. Okay? And it's separated, like uh, Felix said. In this, in this element, you have refrigerant. Over there, you have coolant. Coolant. Okay. In a chiller system, in a chiller system, you have two pumps, two pumps. One pump for? The raw water. What is this? Raw water. Raw water. Raw water. To cool? The condenser. The condenser. And you have another water uh, pump. Fresh water pump. So Fresh water pump. To circulate? It's a circulation pump. Mm -hmm. Circulating pump or fresh water pump or coolant pump to circulate the fresh water or coolant. Ready? This pump is different than this. In some cases, with one unit like this, how many ha air handles you have? Four, six, seven, six, ten, twelve. 
in that case you need one pump to move in this direction the and other one to return you have one here and other here two circulating pumps is for to improve the movement of uh, the refrig uh, the, the cooler and it would be the the same size the same size correct. pump for each side. the same pressure and the same flow that's correct that's correct the same in pressure some, in and some, the same in flow. some systems we, you don't you don't have one on the return you only have like two or three main ones on the, uh, on the uh, field yeah. so we can you can just... install instead of two here you can install two in series here okay because if anything it's still and you pump it more. faster you pump it faster because you remember that the, cy the cycle is closed and when you have a closed system the pressure is constant great now every day is more popular in boats in big boats because you only have one unit a small unit with refrigerant here and the rest in between the master room and the central unit, in between the galley and the central unit, in between the flybridge and the central unit is, is, Sub -split unit. is no, it's not a split unit, it's pipes air with handles. the coolant or fresh Only water one, yes. and air handles. Cool. You only have one air conditioned unit, to go one to air conditioned unit here in the center. What is the name of this box? This box. Chiller. chiller box. No, chiller box. Yeah. Chiller box. What uh, internally you have what? Coils. Fresh water or coolant. Uh, for example, you say, I am going to explain. The last class is that calculation. You, you say, I have a hatter at 67 feet with a one master room of 10 by 12. Uh, other two guest room, uh, six by three, six by three. The galley, tan, tan, tan. You added all of this, you ca and you calculate the capacity of the compressor and the capacity of each air handle and the, the grills. This is the last project, the last but project of this class.